you know our our girl tiffany montgomery yeah we gotta get on the show man we talk mm-hmm. about her like a lot yeah we need to we need to <laughs> get her up here out. um but tiffany montgomery you know she's been she's been saying a lot about democrats and mm-hmm. about kamala harris she called her a witch mm-hmm. um <laughs> so she you know dnc um was this past week so let's hear what she had to say about fully that. persuaded that this generation absolutely hates children and hates babies um I've come to this conclusion for several reasons, but one is because of how many people are molested, raped, and unfortunately have experienced incest. And when the child develops the courage to finally tell an adult, unfortunately, the adult normally forces them to sweep it under the rug because the monster ends up being somebody that the adult loves or they're beat and they're literally forced into silence, which follows them, unfortunately, until they're 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 years old. Um, Also, some of you were your children's first bullies, and unfortunately, some of you have experienced being bullied by the first bully in your life, which was your mother and father. And I'm just of the thought that people just absolutely hate children. I believe that we're living in the days of King Herod. And those of you that don't know what King Herod is or who King Herod is, he was literally the You can read more about it in Matthew chapter one, two, three, four, um, that tried to kill Jesus when he found out that Jesus was alive and well. And King Herod did not know where Jesus was. And so he decided to put together a law that killed all babies under the age of two years old. That let me know that the enemy is not omnipresent, all-knowing, omniscient, only God is. Mm -hmm. So he knew that there was a deliverer that was getting ready to be born, but he didn't know where, so he developed a plan to kill all babies under the age of two. And here we are at the DNC having Planned Parenthood, who has told you time and time again that their number one goal was to exterminate a race. And they have planted mobile demonic altars to give free abortions to anybody who wants them as if the DNC is the appropriate place to kill a baby. Let me tell you why it's an appropriate place for them. It's because they they need more blood to sacrifice to their demonic God called Moloch. Anybody that needs to get into a high level position has to shed blood if they are not a believer because believers the blood was already shed for us on Calvary with that being said demonic blood has to be shed and baby blood is some of the most potent blood that you can shed this is why Planned Parenthood has put together a plan to kill babies during this time they are literally sacrificing the blood of babies I am telling you now and I am telling you as loudly as I can that this is going to render more judgment on this nation. I know many of you don't like when I say it and you don't like to hear it, but I don't care. You're going to thank God one day that he sent somebody with enough courage to tell you the truth. It's only the truth that sets people free. Mm. Okay, so what do you think? What do you think Mm. about what Tiffany said? Man, um, I mean, she's she's spitting that ism. Um... I mean, I think people do need to research mollage, like Mollet, like, yeah. mo- like what what that represents and why it was which was interesting. Why music was playing, why they were sacrificing kids and turn up the music so mm-hmm. you can't hear the babies cry and die and stuff mm-hmm. like that back in the day. Um, I I I do think I I do think this new generation of Christians are like gung ho about abortion, like like really like. Y'all are sacrificing babies. Like y'all are doing this, blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. And I think I think that's the thing that a lot of people um, are getting on board with. You know what I mean? So um, she she called the stuff out, man. She she called it out, and and I think I think um, I don't think every Democrat is it's it's a wrong people. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm mm-hmm. I'm not the I'm not a party guy. I, I vote certain ways sometimes, but I'm not like you know. You know, if Democrats are evil, because I think right. conservatives are evil too. You know what I mean? Like, I just think yeah. I think if you, if you, I, I, I think I think if one side is like blatantly evil, and then the other side is like like trying to act like they're not evil, but like it's almost like a false <laughs> Christian. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Like acting like yo, I'm saved, but like you look at their lives and it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's there's no fruit. Mm-hmm. So I just feel like. I feel like, what, but what she was saying is the truth, though. What she was saying about Molich, what she was saying about um, the DNC did have Planned Parenthood, even if Planned Parenthood did, maybe they maybe they were just out there. I don't know if the mm-hmm. DNC was like, yeah, be out here so we can get those babies. But I don't know, you know what I'm saying? 
I just you know? think I just I do think I do think it's a big 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 coincidence. I know they didn't stop it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the the, the yeah. pushback was the DNC had nothing to do with it, but um, I mean, it's not, it's it's they feel comfortable there, right? Like, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. That's the environment where why would they push back on it? That's yeah. that's kind of what it's that's they're, what they, they're in support yeah, of, right? Yeah. So um, she kind of loses me with the Moloch stuff. Like I again, I'm I'm the one on the show that's always like skeptical. Yeah, I, I'm skeptical that people are just outright just on purpose worshiping satan i think mm-hmm. i think the way it works is more devious than that where you think you're doing the right thing but you're really in service of satan i think mm-hmm. that's more common mm-hmm. than people so actually literally worshiping Satan. you don't think there's people that just like i think there are th- yeah but i think most people are deceived i don't think most people oh, are intentional you, you know what i'm saying well it could be some people i mean i remember i remember when when hillary lost was because them videos came out of her spirit cooking and people were like oh no they had videos of hillary clinton they had pictures of her cooking. You gotta. Yeah. Why don't you bring this up in the meetings? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking? Because we don't be talking about that in the meetings. <laughs> you need to bring it up. You you got pictures. I don't really Clinton, but it was a picture of her. Like, but because I think they don't think of they. I think sometimes people think cleansing of different other religions. Yeah. You could do that, and they don't understand the spiritual realm of being a part of i i consider things. the if y'all you know what spirit cooking is mm-hmm. okay it's gross okay yeah. let's just say it like that um if somebody's doing that to me that is obviously intentional demonic yeah right? that's not what i'm talking about i think most people are are deceived into uh doing things that support Satan. You don't, meaning you don't, they think they're doing a good thing but they're not you mm-hmm. don't think you don't think people feel like like if somebody come to you and be like man if, if you want to take track stars to another level you got to do xyz and you be like for real like you yeah know to I mean? me like, to me that's such an obvious no yeah. that i think <laughs> yeah. i think most people yeah. who are deceived into it are like you know how you could take track stars to the next level uh you know support the the dnc's uh promotion of abortion and mm. f- support the lgbt that's that's the way mm-hmm. to really serve satan I, without knowing that you're doing it what you're well, a guest, bro. What's well, up? Well, well, that, well, that's the that's the that's the full on scheme by the enemy, right? We know that you know there's confusion, there's deception, there's lies. There that that was that's that's exactly what happened in the Garden of Eden. Mm-hmm. Like he just deceived Eve in such a way that led to sin being something we all got to deal with now. So like when we hear things about you know them wanting to do all of these abortions, or we hear all this crazy stuff that you know would happen in biblical times yeah like throughout history there were kids that were sacrificed yeah. like th- like yeah. the world is just a fallen world and as these things do come to the surface even for me i don't it's it doesn't feel like it's new news it's like yeah this is this is where we're at this is yeah. what we're dealing with because of the main scheme of the of the enemy and the demonic presence yeah over even you know over regions you know principalities all, all types of things like it's, it, it is it is wild it's, it's, it's really crazy yeah. um, but but when you said deception that's that's where it's at because you could think you'd be doing something good yeah you know like think about and, and, and I bring this up and maybe you guys can add to this because I've always had this this idea or you know thought process if a woman's raped and she mm. gets pregnant mm-hmm. what do you guys think about that that's that's what that's what Trump believes like he has <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so I don't know if everybody knows but Trump Trump is um I think uh all cases except for incest rape and and harm to the mother I think yeah so it's not a it's not a abor- I, thought he, I thought he said to the I thought he said did he change from just let the states provide like let the yeah state because decide? okay so he at first he took credit for the 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 Roe v Wade going yeah. down but then it looked uh, all their candidates start getting voted out. Yeah. So there was a young lady who asked a question and said, "Hey, you know, what's your stance on abortion?" So I'm paraphrasing. He was basically like, "We got to be careful because you know this is killing us." Basically, yeah. is what he's saying. We need to soften our stance a little bit. Yeah. I'm paraphrasing. I know your Trump Trump people are going <laughs> to kill me, but that's essentially what he's yeah. saying is that he's kind of toning down the rhetoric and the talking point now is let the states decide because yeah. it's kind of deflecting yeah. away from he, what he's actually saying is he's cool with it for these reasons. Yeah. You see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I don't know if that's what we, I, I mean. I was I was in the meetings. I was with at all the rallies when we were mm-hmm. fighting for 
to to kill Roe v. Wade. I don't think that's what we were asking for. Mm-hmm. It was don't kill no babies, yeah. right? So I th- feel like there's some compromises do, being made. Do Do you feel like if a young lady did get raped, do you, what do you feel about that? I feel like you might want to kill the guy, <laughs> 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 but it's just hard. It's hard to say the answer is to kill the kid. You know, that's just hard for me. I mean, I, I, it's, yeah. it's a bad situation. I, it, it is a very bad situation. I think. I think people, and I think the reason why some for some people, even conservatives, that sounds like a. Abortion sounds like a great idea for the, that cause of rape, incest, or whatever. Well, mostly rape is because the trauma it will bring to the woman if she feels like I have to see this little yeah, baby. It's, a terrible, kid. It's, 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 it's like a reminder of rape all over again. Yeah, he should be destroyed with fire. Yeah. Which mm-hmm. will, will happen unless he <laughs> repents. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. But I, to me, I would say if that was the case for her, maybe put him up, put the baby up for adoption. It's just a bad situation. It's hard yeah. to watch. I would say, hopefully your pastor loves Jesus and you he could walk you through that because I don't wish that on anybody. This mm-hmm. is where politics breaks down for me a little yeah. bit, which is why I try to stay out of it as much mm-hmm. as possible because yeah. I don't have the gift to figure out policy decisions on things like that. Yeah. There's some mm-hmm. things that a general in a war, a president, you know, these positions have to decide yeah, that I'm like, tough bro, I don't yeah, know how off, you handle that. Off. We That's, think somebody has yeah, to be called to that position. Yeah, somebody yeah. like as a president, you, you y'all in the war room and y'all like, okay, we about to we gotta kill gonna, this dude. We gonna kill this dude. We don't know if he in the house. We we got we got intel he in the house. Could be some other kids in yeah. there. Yeah. Mm. And you got But if we don't get him now, he gonna kill millions of people. Yeah, what do you do? Yeah, mm. that's a hard one. Yeah. That's not my gift. But I will go back and say, and I and to me sometimes I feel like people um, you ask the honest question, mm-hmm. but I feel like sometimes people use that for abortion mm-hmm. when the actuality is I just want to do my thing. Yeah, they they use the edge cases yeah. as, as a way to where, prove where, it. Yeah. where percentage wise it's the lowest on the reason yeah. why people get abortion. Mm. But okay, so but back to my original question, I think this is where the rub between me and a lot of people because I'm I'm the one I'm. You know, I was on the picket lines. I was I was yeah. fighting for this stuff, right? But where y'all lose me, I think, is picking this guy to be the, the one to push for it. I just it's not worth it to <laughs> me. You know what I mean, but um, especially because he don't even believe it. You know. Yeah. But um, my question is is I think a lot of people are trying to make the the ops evil. Yeah. They're trying to vilify them when I think mo- most people most people genuinely feel. Like they're trying to do the right thing by protecting women and and love is love and all this thing. I just think they're wrong. Mm-hmm. I don't think they're evil. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Oh, I, I think what you mean. Yeah. I think a lot of people are trying to paint the people on the opposite side. Well, I, you mm-hmm. know, yeah, yeah. liberals as evil people instead of deceived people. I, and think, I think there's I, a I, distinction. I, I think the difference is it, it's a difference between um, one person going like using all those using that all those like like. Like um, on on the left, like so if if you watching like if you on you on YouTube or if you on if you seen reels or mm-hmm. you on IG, you may see somebody go, you know, I, I'm gonna tell y'all my testimony. I had an abortion. I just felt I don't know what to do next. Da, 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 da. But then you may have another video when a girl be like, I had an abortion. I can't wait to have any more. I can't have more. I want more. And it's like mm-hmm. that's evil. Like you yeah, like that, you know what I'm saying. That is evil. So I think when I think the difference is your approach. And I think the media and even conservative media is very good at showing the bad side of when people are bragging about their sin yeah. and go, that's evil. Yeah. And not looking at that person needs grace and that person needs Jesus. Or that person could be, back to her original saying, demonic. They could be, a and demon I think, could be and, activating and their life. I want to say that I don't even know if Tiffany is saying that each individual person that votes for Democrats is evil. I think she's trying to say that the people in power are evil that we could have a good talk about because i do think that's true but again this is where i lose i lose people in this argument is again i think you can be deceived you can be evil and then you could know who satan is and actively worship satan i think that's like the extreme of what's going on but what if it's I don't that, think that's the norm what if that, of what's going what on what if that's the transition it could be I mean, it is the. Truth. It, I was going to say <laughs> that that, that kind of sounds like that the is roadmap. the goal of the the roadmap. <laughs> yeah, but I just think most people are probably in the middle of that roadmap. Yeah, mm. that they don't think they're worshiping Satan. They yeah. don't think they're evil. They yeah. think they're doing the right mm. thing. Yeah, they're just deceived into doing the wrong thing. Yeah, and mm. I think those people should should be talked about with a little more grace than 
than I hear I right you now. You know what yeah. I'm yeah, I like yeah. how you did. I like how you you're putting that together because you're not making it just black and white. You're like, th- there's another section of people where it is great for them. You know what I mean? And and I think that, you know, a lot of times us as believers, we we get a lot of slack is because sometimes we don't always approach it with that grace. You mm-hmm. know, we see it as, oh, you're far left, you're you're evil because you're not following these things to the degree that we're following them, even though we fall every day mm, in right. the same things that we try to expect other people to, to understand. Um, so yeah, I, li- I like that, 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 that stance on, you know, being more graceful for those types yeah. of people. Cause that's how you reach them. That's how you, you can, you can create the connections to actually pour in the, the good that they might need to hear. You know? Yeah. And I think the, the fastest way to make that connection is to not pretend that the side you're on is, is righteous. Oh, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, At least right. acknowledge what's going on with your side. Mm-hmm. Like that's, that's the only yeah. thing I'm like, I, yeah, I, if you end yeah. up voting for Trump, I get it. Like a hundred percent, like yeah. actively voting for some of the things we're talking about right now feels icky. It feels gross. Yeah. And I understand why people, are, I can't do that. I'll rather vote for the gross person than the gross policy. Yeah. I get it. Mm-hmm. But at least acknowledge that the man you're voting for <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is one of the weirdest dudes I've ever seen in my life. Can we at least yeah. just say that? Hey, there's a weird dude. He does some weird stuff. I get it. Yeah. Sure, I just can't vote mess, for them. Right? Right. Just at least yeah. admit it. I think I, I just, every, every yeah. person I've come across I, that I know of that is very conservative I feel like I feel like they're like, yeah, he got some problems, but those policies. That's what I've I've I'm heard cool recently. With that. I'm cool. You know with what I mean? Yeah. So, but I, I I think don't don't try to sell me like this is some cool dude that like <laughs> I, I'm I'm wrong about him. No, I'm not. It's weird. He's actually nice at audience. I'm sure. And here's the here's the here's <laughs> he's the thing. A good guy. And when even even him, I don't I don't think he's an evil person. Yeah. yeah. I don't, I've never said he was an evil person like that. I think he's super weird. I think selfish. Very selfish. Yeah. Um. But if he was sitting here, I would say, bro, do you understand? Like, you have the ability to be an awesome president mm-hmm. if you repent. Mm. It's the only thing that I'm missing. I'm not Repent from what, it. Sean? His sin. <laughs> what sin? Everybody has sin. He's, he said, he, I've never did. repented for anything in my life. Oh, that's okay. Weird. Oh, yeah, that's something different. That's something totally different. So you can't that pretend has nothing to some, do with president to some me. Christian champion. And when people ask you about the Bible and about God, I I don't have anything okay, to repent okay. for. So hmm. you're, you have... Your stance against Trump is the stuff he's saying about his walk as a Christian, right? That's what you just said. I just think that to pretend that he, what, whenever I hear this come up, it's, oh, there's no proof that he did this. And it's like, come on, c- come on, guys. <laughs> proof. I understand you believe that, that people are attacking him and making yeah. up stuff about him. But even without that, there's things that we've seen. I've seen him say out of his face yeah. that are sinful. Right. Mm-hmm. At least acknowledge those things, right? He needs to repent for those things. No, that's what I'm saying. Like you're saying, he said he's never repented for anything. He said that. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So yeah, I I get that. Like that's that's crazy. I mean, but but I think for the the conservative Christian, it's like like you said, mm. we're all we're not perfect. Nobody's perfect. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not looking at him as no like and this is what what they'll probably say. I'm not looking at him as my past. I'm not looking at him as my church. Like he's uh-huh. not. He's a man just like everybody else is a man. But at the same time, if I had to choose between him or Kamala and based off how, like, um, things have been going in my life and in the country, Mm -hmm. I'm going to go his direction. I I understand if that's your view of him, why you would vote for him. That's not my view of him. I think he's intentionally uh, a charlatan. Mm -hmm. I think he is lying to your face. Mm. Well, he did say... All right, look, man. He did say, "I've never repented for anything in my life." Right? That's the awareness that there is yeah, that's forgiveness crazy. out there, and yeah. you're you're you know denying it. And as a Christian, what is, what does that look like? Right? Like we're believers here, so imagine saying, "I'm not I'm not asking God for forgiveness for nothing that I did." Mm. I don't care. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> so I never heard he, he said that until you just said that just now. Do you, you just mention that statement? Yeah. So. That's you know where, go. but that's where yeah. it gets a little iffy because now people who are like Christians, believers, who yeah. even want to give him grace and say, you know, he's he's taking his time. Now you're like, is it is it that is is it direct worship or is it direct like? And when I mean worship, is it direct worship of 
something else. I don't know. I know somebody on the comments gonna be like, but with Kamala, what about her? What about her? Mm-hmm. Stuff? I don't care nothing about Kamala. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I, and yeah. I think that's the the confusion is that everybody said everybody feels like in order to if I say this about him, that means I must be doing it for them. I don't. I just the whole beginning of this conversation was all the evil things that are on the, the Democrats. Side. Side, yeah, but they, if, you, I don't feel the pressure to pick another evil person because I don't like this evil person. I well, don't feel that. Well, unfortunately, we've been hearing that for years. Like pick pick the lesser of two evils and the lesser, than, yeah. lesser evil. You know. I mean, yeah. ult- ultimately, it, it really. I think it really boils down to what is going to help you and your family thrive. Right. I and think that's what it is choosing policies based on that and if you are trying to thrive in a way that honors god or honors just a better way of living for you and your family then you're going to pick the things that will help bring that um and that's you know that's republican democrat you know independent independent. i I would even say this I, i get when people say well what about policies what about policies i personally hate me if you want to I don't care about those things. Mm-hmm. I don't care about what would ultimately benefit my family the most. I care about what will ultimately benefit other people's families the most, mm-hmm. the people who need it the most. But I mean, if that's based off that, then why wouldn't you care if I care? If, but again, like what I hear from people is yeah. vote your interest, vote what yeah. makes. I don't care about that. What I care, the only thing I listen for is does this help the most people who need it the most? Or not. That's what matters to me. I would hop in. That's what would sway me, not whether Um, I get more money in my personal bank account. Mm. There are some people, so I think it ties back into that deception too, because there are some people that think they might be doing good for another person or another they but they they might not be doing good. Right. So think about that. I think I think it's two track to each, right? You can have those people that are like, I wanna just take care of my family my family own it and your family wow and crazy i got some crazy ideas about how life should be mm. then he's in trouble but you also have that family that's like yo i just want to honor god and it's, it's starting in the home so everything he wants to do like is going to branch out eventually and if you have families like generations of families thinking like that then you have generations of change right mm. but then is that also that's that other side where it's like hey i want to i i want to think about what other families might like and then what if you have a whole a total different idea of what other families really need yeah and then yeah. now you're creating you're, you're pushing and creating something that doesn't work for those people yeah you yeah. know that's so, real that's real I think it's again <laughs> I always go back to this is like all the confusion and deception it just it just <laughs> folds over <laughs> I, everything we try to do I'll say this that this has been something that's really hurt my heart for, for years and years and years when I first realized that because, again, I grew up in a Republican kind of house, right? Like, my dad, my church, everybody was Republican, 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 right? Um, so it hurt my heart when I realized that I had Christian friends that didn't agree with that decision mm. to be on the Republican side. And it took me a while to realize, like, there are actual brothers and sisters that are split on this issue. We're not Christians yeah. aren't all on the same side. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think what is trying yeah. to be preached is that Christians are all on the same side. Yeah. And if you aren't on this side, then you're not a Christian. Who, what, mm. That's not true. What president mm. you think broke that up? What you mean? Like, like what president you think? I, I'm gonna say it. Um, people get mad, but I, I think Obama broke that up. Mm. Oh, he mean? was he was in my head. I was thinking. About I think mean? that like, broke what up? Broke up the like. Those those back in the days where it was like, you know, this person like if you conservative you're Christian, mm-hmm. and if you're liberal you may not be Christian. But it wasn't like for like even for the black church wasn't like we're policies. The black church was like we going by policies because of that. But I feel like I feel like for for I say for black Christians mm-hmm. that are like that word like you said grew up Republican conservative and all that. I feel like President Obama was like the first time you seen him. It was like, dang, man, well, no, this I, is a hard choice but, to, to make because I seen this brother in church. He go to a church in Chicago. I seen his brother talk to go in church and sing Amazing Grace. I seen, you know yeah. what I mean? And it's like. But I, I think most black Christians are Democrats. Yeah. 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 I don't think they came yeah. from my background. I think yeah. most black Christians came the other direction. Yeah. That they they grew up in a Democratic house and now yeah. they're voting for Trump for the, that's yeah. the first time coming yeah. across the line. So I, what I'm saying is realizing that there's a whole huge portion of my family that I really believe are 
say yeah. true believers yeah. in yeah, Jesus yeah, yeah, yeah. that really see it totally differently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It just it just hurt my heart that we are so divided yeah. on this mm-hmm. issue because there are a couple things that are right over here. Yeah. There's a couple things right over here. You think the things you're right about are more important than the things they're right yeah. about and vice versa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But they both have evil things on their side to yeah. me that are obviously evil. You may yeah. not see it that way. That to me are ignored because you think your positive points are more important. That's that's what I'm mm-hmm. I'm upset about because as brothers and sisters, I wish we could work those things out and come to a consensus, but it just seems but impossible. I, but I think mm-hmm. both sides are throwing dirt on if you decide who you vote for. It's not like mm-hmm. I, I yeah, remember I remember yeah, the first time I think the first time like I remember the first time with Trump and Hillary, mm-hmm. I remember people saying like, yo, you crazy if you vote for Trump. You right. crazy, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? And I feel like I feel like we just never looked at other peoples or we never took account to other things. And I think and I think right now in our culture and I feel like I feel like in our culture we're seeing a revival happen mm-hmm. with people coming to Christ. Yeah. And and but they're coming to Christ and they're coming their background may be new age, their background mm-hmm. may be coming out of the occult. Yeah. So they know stuff. So now yeah. when when somebody like uh, Tiffany comes along and says, you know, these people are sacrificed, they like, yeah, yeah she's true. telling the truth. Yeah. But he, he, I think what TJ said was is key. He said most black people are conservative even though they are Dems. Yeah. I, th- mm-hmm. That's the truth. Yeah. Is that mm-hmm. even though yeah. you, you may have grown up in a democratic family, you were conservative whether you knew it or not yeah. because you agreed with Republicans on gay rights yeah. and abortion. Yeah. What's happening now, I think, which is a little strange, is that people are starting to make compromises. Yeah. So you see pastors and you see uh, political leaders and you see Obama and you see people like that who traditionally would have been conservative Democrats are now compromising to appeal to this big group of people. Well, so they're starting to accept things that they never would have accepted. And that's what people are starting to see. Mm. Oh, this is evil. Yeah. They're compromising. They're, they're serving Satan because even though they used to be Democrats, they used to agree with us on this. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's the problem. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and I think, and and I think do, I do think, and I just, this is just me. I do think, and anybody going far, far left, far right, far right is, crazy too it's like oh racism um <laughs> it's like tiki torch <laughs> tiki torch parties but on a far left it's crazy too like super crazy and, and yeah. i think the problem was obama biting was like y'all we can't go that far these they, we people, can't we can't go to, to aoc bro. people we used to route. hug the center yeah. whether you were democrat or republic yeah. everybody mm-hmm. ran to the center they tried to hug the center pole mm-hmm. Now people are running to the edges. Yeah. That's yeah. the problem. Yeah. Both both sides are yeah. running to the edges and it's yeah. scary. Yeah. It started with the Clinton and the Bushes. Clinton, Clinton mm-hmm. kind of brought in that 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 mentality of this is starting to get weird. Mm. Starting to get a little weird. We're starting to go a little bit too far this way or that yeah. way. And then it just continued on. Man, and on. at the long at the end of the day, put your faith in Jesus. Come on. Put your faith Boom. in God. Like yeah. true yeah. like really. Like regardless who gets in. In November, I'm, I can't wait till the day is over. I can't wait till I, I, I can't wait it's over. I hate this, honestly. Yeah. I can't wait till it's over. Put your if you a believer, if you a, a, a blood bought believer, please put your faith in Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. And I would I would say this on the on the other on the politics side, do vote locally. Your local elections do That's, matter. That matters yeah. a lot. That man. matters we a little bit more that. because you see the effects of. What happens when you vote mayors in, council mm-hmm. people in, and, in your and, neighborhood? And to that point, I would recommend that this just works for me. I know this is a big debate or whatever. But I would I would try to get the the absentee ballot if you can, yeah. because there's nothing like when I'm able to see my ballot, be like, who is so and so? Yeah, I yeah. can't do that at the, the booth. Poll, I mean, yeah. I, I assume I. I don't no, know if you can't take no rule. phone. Mm-hmm. Okay, so then that's really bad because <laughs> most people, I think, they go in there and they see a D and an R and yeah. they just pick the D or the yeah. R. Mm-hmm. I don't do that. If I have a chance, I go and I say, "What so and so believe? What they got on their Facebook? Oh, nah, mm-hmm. I ain't with that." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like really study who the yeah, person yeah, is because yeah. sometimes you know I don't know who these people yeah. are. And you yeah. just pick random, yeah. you know, yeah, like true. Christmas tree. <laughs> so if you can, like, really figure out who you're actually voting for and the local people matter way more. You can actually call that person and get yeah. them to answer the phone. You can go to those yeah. meetings. You ain't calling Trump unless yeah. you, like, really bend the knee. <laughs> you gotta bend the knee to get to Trump. So, anyway.